Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from scratch. In the last episode, we created the folders and the repositories for our UI and the backend APIs. For the front end, we used Angular 11 using Angular CLI. And for the backend APIs, we used Express Generator. Today, we are going to build a site framework for our front end application. What is a site framework? What are the different components we are going to build? We'll see all about that in today's episode. This is part four of the mean stack complete live project development from scratch. Please do support this project and please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please do like comment and share the videos with your friends and colleagues. Thank you in advance. All right, so today we are in the fourth episode. Today we are going to learn about the front end site framework. All right, so what do you mean by site framework, right? So any application if you take will have a common layout or a structure. That structure will have some components which are reusable and common across different screens. Some of the commonly used components are header, footer, sidebar and main content area. In most uh, applications, you will find these components which are common, right? So we are going to build a framework for these and have our structure and layout. So this is how our application structure would look like. We'll have a header at the top. We'll have a sidebar, footer and the main content area. And we will use this uh, to start uh, building kind of a base for our screens. All right. So let's get started. I think uh, that's the time. Okay. So we are in step number eight. So let's go to loans UI application here, which is what I'm inside now. And what we are going to do is first go to app component dot HTML and delete everything else because last time we did that basic drop down and welcome to loan manager, but I'm re reverting everything. All right, so now I don't have anything. Let's save it. So the first step we'll do is create some common components. So we are going to say ng generate component header. Okay, so now we got our header. Similarly, now we are going to generate two more and let's call it sidebar. And then we are also going to need a footer. So let's have footer right so now we have three components that we generated header sidebar and footer so you can see those three here header sidebar and footer so if you go into this components in the ts file you would see that there is a selector right so for each of this component there will be a unique selector we are going to use the selector and put that in our app component dot html file let's do that so in the app component, what we are going to do, we are going to include the app header, right? And similarly, we will add the other components. But first, if you remember in the episode number two, I showed you some of the screens that I have developed uh, for this particular application. So I'm going to bring that code here. So let's get that code. I'm going to go to customer screen. And what I'm going to do is first copy the nav navigation right and take it and put it in the header dot html that will be our header then i'm going to go to the structure of the page and go to app component and add that here close these divs okay so we got the side nav and the layout nav so next what we are going to do is copy the side nav bar and go to sidebar component and paste it here so this will be our sidebar dot html and similarly uh, we'll copy the footer code and go into the footer component and paste it here right and last but not the least we need this here in the app component along with side nav we need this main content Okay, so now let's include the code that we just components that we just created. 
here we will need app footer okay so we copied the code of header sidebar and footer so we got all our components and their respective HTML but this will not work yet because we need to import the styling so I'm going to copy the style as well and put it in the common styles.css okay control and bring it to style.css and paste it here so now we got the HTML and the styles now it's time to see what the application looks like of course because there would be some difference in the version like for bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 5 there are some different classes we will modify our code accordingly all right let's give it a minute to build in the meanwhile if you are enjoying the series please do hit the like button please do hit the subscribe button all right so the application is compiled now let's go here and refresh our screen so we get the layout we got the uh, we got the sidebar we got the footer and we got the loan so here one mistake that we have done is we need the router outlet inside the main content because that's where the data would be rendered so copy this cut it here and put it here because this is where the main content will be okay so that's why now you see the footer is at the bottom below right so we got our footer here we got the sidebar correctly but this is not working so we'll fix that and this should be towards the right side okay so let's fix that in the header in the HTML we are going to use a class called dflex so what this will do is okay so I'm going to go over the navbar code and copy this here so don't stress too much just copy the code paste it and you should be good so first I'm going to, to copy the code and move our code inside this so let's see how it looks so see there is a navbar that comes up now what I'm going to do cut this ULLI here and move it inside the form here and we'll call it deflex that's correct so it's still not showing because there is a sec first already one so I'm going to move this classes also here and cut this entire uh, move you need the buttons so cut the button put it in front of here and now just delete the nav okay so this should be good now so we see we have got the um, the username details which is on the right and we got the navbar button but it won't function yet I'll just tell you how to fix it all right so we don't need these links right so we'll get rid of them now and we'll be removing this UL we don't need that okay so it's coming here so what we are going to do is march in right auto and we are going to have the nav bar or we can see if we can say pull right okay let's say float right it should ideally go there but that's okay that's I, that's something that I will take a look and see why uh, it's not happening because it's a grid it's a container uh, I'll have to float that okay so that I'll get it done later um, so let's now import the JavaScript because that's what we need uh, we need the jQuery right because this is working on jQuery this button right so it has to work on jQuery so I do not encourage using jQuery in projects but then I'll make an exception for this one so let's do that uh, what we are going to do for that is we are going to go to app component.ts and here I'm going to say declare and I'm going to declare the variable which is of dollar sign and we'll say any right so what this will do is it will initialize the dollar sign and we'll say implements on init and here we will ng on init we are going to define that here and there is a, some script uh, code that is required which is this code right so I'm going to move this code which is nothing but just toggling 
so I'm just toggling the left sidebar in this now let's see so when I click it hides it shows right so this functionality is done um, similarly uh, this isn't responsive uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to check if it is responsive yes it is it's working fine as expected and if you see uh, there are some spaces that we require here uh, we'll have to clean up that code okay so in the header in the sidebar go here and let's see if uh, we will have to do that so I'm going to say margin left should be one uh, or make it two and see how it looks no uh, so I think there is some spacing that needs to be given we will fix that okay so I'll put the spaces here as well as move this one here but you got the idea that we have uh, almost got our site framework ready our main code my main content will come here so we got the sidebar we got this navigation working and it's responsive right and we have to now fix this uh, to be here which I can use it uh, something like this right so I'll try and get it here uh, it's I'll use the same code maybe so it should come there that pretty much covers uh, the task for today which is to create the components create the site framework some here and there some margin we need to adjust the top uh, the size of it I'll clean up so that little little uh, CSS things I'll fix up later but go ahead uh, implement this in your application get ready because in the next episode we are starting starting to build the database schemas the model schema and creating the models for the mongodb this will be the back end work purely so make sure you join and keep practicing with me uh, there's a lot of work to do in this application i hope you appreciate my time and effort that i'm putting in if you do please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you in advance.